The French Revolution had destabilised the long-standing order of nations and monarchies across Europe. Attempts to create an Italian state were dashed by the Congress of Vienna, which left northern Italy ruled by the Habsburg and the Bourbons. The central Rome region remained as a papal state, and the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, Naples, Campania and Sicily, returned to the Bourbons. Frequent violent revolts were ruthlessly put down by the Austrian and Bourbon armies. Britain also had an interest in Sicily as a strategic naval asset. Independent Italian states were unable to break free from foreign rule. Popular uprisings, alternatively demanding independence or the reunification of Italy and Sicily, came and went. L'Inno di Mamelli, later adopted as the Italian national anthem, was first performed in 1847. Monarchists were now under heavy pressure from Republicans to adopt constitutions, and that included Pope Pius IX. Ferdinand II of Sicily gave in to this pressure. As the Sicilian Revolution rose up against the House of Bourbon, two Sicilies, in 1848, Milan and Venice also rebelled against Austria and established their own governments. To learn more about La Bella Italia, consider subscribing. The five-day revolt in Milan began with the boycott of monopoly items such as gambling and tobacco, which was controlled by the Austrian rulers. It soon escalated to street battles of the local population against the armed troops with the Italians literally throwing stones. The Milanese ejected the Austrian garrison after five days of fighting. This was known as Cinque Giornate di Milano and repelled the Austrian forces led by Joseph Rudetsky, he of the Rudetsky March written by Johann Strauss. Having been disregarded by Charles Albert of Sardinia, Piedmont, Garibaldi returned to lend his support to Milan. The first Italian independence war was fought by the Kingdom of Sardinia, Piedmont and the Italian volunteers against the Austrian Empire and began in 1848. King Charles Albert, Sardinia Piedmont, chose the war flag of the Italian tricolor and the Savoyard arms. The Kingdom of Sardinia, Piedmont, suffered crushing defeats to the Austrian Empire and lost at the battles of Custoza and Novara. This left the Austrians in control of the Lombardy-Venice region, except for Venice itself. In 1849, Charles Albert, King of Sardinia and Duke of Savoy, accepted his defeat to the Austrians and abdicated in favour of his son, Vittorio Emanuele II. In 1849, the Roman Republic was declared as a replacement of the Papal States. Pope Pius IX fled to Gaeta as Giuseppe Garibaldi approached to defend the Roman Republic. A French force was dispatched by Louis Napoleon to end the Roman Republic and restore the Papal States. During the Siege of Rome, Garibaldi made a famous speech in the Roman Assembly, still covered in blood, and he said, Ovunque noi saremo, sarà Roma, which means, wherever we will go, that will be Rome. After the Siege of Rome, the Roman Republic, including Garibaldi, fell to the overwhelming French forces of Charles Oudinot in 1849 and he quickly restored Pope Pius IX. Garibaldi and Mazzini left for exile. Garibaldi went to New York City in 1850, where he worked at Staten Island, employed by Antonio Meucci, the inventor of the telephone. The volunteer army of the Venetian Republic, led by Daniele Manin and Guglielmo 
Beppe eventually surrendered to the Austrians. The Italian states had proved yet again to be no match for the national armies of France and Austria. Now France offered to provide military assistance to Republican Italy if this could weaken Austria, but it demanded a price. Cavour agreed to grant the Côte d'Azur and Savoy to France if they supported Italian reunification, much to Garibaldi's fury as his city was Nice. Italy also agreed to retain the Pope. Patriots had learnt the painful lesson that they needed allies. Piedmont, Sardinia, Vittorio Emanuele II of the House of Savoy and France. Camp Cavour campaigned for an independent Italy. He became Prime Minister in 1852 and proved an advocate of modernisation, but at the same time continued to gather the support of Republican patriots. The Belfiore Martyrs were Republican activists who were hanged en masse near Mantua by Joseph Rodetsky between 1852 and 1853, as the Austrians reasserted control. The Mantua plot was led by Enrico Tazzoli, an Italian patriot and a priest, who was in communication with Mazzini. The plot was uncovered. Some confessed due to torture, and others died during torture. All ten defendants were found guilty, five were hanged and five were given life sentences. And Tazzoli said, and to implement what was necessary to be free, may God forgive me. Count Cavour allied with Napoleon III in the Second War of Italian Independence against Austria in 1859. The Austrians had the advantage of more troops, but were poorly led and soon retreated as they realised the French had now reinforced the Sardinian volunteers. The Austrians lost at the Battle of Magenta and the Battle of Solferino. Italian volunteers known as Hunters of the Alps, Cacciatori delle Alpi, were led by Giuseppe Garibaldi and defeated the Austrians at Varese and Como in 1859. The resulting armistice left Lombardy with Sardinia and Venice with Austria. Garibaldi's expedition to Sicily in 1860 was fundamental for the unification of Italy, the single focus of Camillo Cavour, Prime Minister of Sardinia Piedmont. Sardinia later took central Italy and the former Papal States in 1860, with Savoy and Nice handed to France. Garibaldi never forgave Cavour for ceding Nice his hometown to France. The Third Italian War of Independence was fought in 1866 between the Kingdom of Italy and the Austrian Empire. It caused Austria to cede Veneto, Friuli and the city of Mantua to France and from there it was ceded to Italy after a referendum. The riots in Nice, Nizza in Italian, between 1871 and 1872 were called the Nissard Vespers, which demanded the return of Nice to Italy. It failed. The Nissard Exodus saw the Nissard Italians, who were of Nice heritage, fleeing to Italy. <laughs>